The key to making a perfect sourdough loaf is your starter. You want to have a bubbly active starter to make the perfect sourdough bread. So I am not a master at making sourdough loaves. I am still learning. I have made quite a few really good looking ones and super tasty ones. But what got me to that pro to that point was the process of learning how to make my starter. There were a few trials and error, but I have mastered making my starter from scratch and I wanted to share that with you because I know that there are a lot of people who are interested in making sourdough starter, sourdough bread, but get tripped up with learning how to make the starter first. So first thing is you're going to get a glass jar. Uh, mine is a 32 ounce mason jar and a lid. There and stored just like this on top of your kitchen counter. The warmest place in your kitchen is always my biggest tip. Um, so you'll need your glass jar with a lid, you'll need a cup, a measuring cup, um, so you'll be using one cup of wheat flour or rye flour, whichever one you prefer, and one cup of filtered water. Um, you don't want to use faucet water because it will kill out your uh, yeast before it even starts to grow. You want to use a filter water more on more along the lines of room temperature and then you just add the ingredients right into your mason jar. all you need so one cup of wheat or rye flour one cup of filtered water you mix it into a jar you give it a good stir try to clean down the uh, flour from the jar like scrape it off the jar and therefore you can see your starter rise all you're gonna do is set this in a warm spot in your kitchen for me I always set it right here because it's closest to my stove and rest for 24 hours and I will repeat the same process in 24 hours one cup to one cup water ratio and then we'll continue with the rest of the process it is day three and look at that can you see all those bubbles in there and it almost popped the top off but look at how good that looks so I'm gonna discard half, almost half, and then I'm going to repeat the same process. So I've been repeating the same process for day one and two. I'm gonna do it again for day three and four. And then we're gonna watch how this starter continues to grow. And then on the fifth and sixth day, we're gonna change it up a little bit, but as of right now, we're gonna continue the same process of feed every 24 hours and let sit. And we are officially halfway through this week creating our starter this is day three and i'm discarding half of my starter into this smaller mason jar which i keep in my refrigerator i do not waste it i use it and i make delicious pancakes brownies cookies and just keep it there until i'm ready to use so i'm discarding half of my starter and i'm going to refeed one cup wheat flour one cup filtered water give it a good stir and i'm going to let sit in a warm spot in my kitchen for 24 hours. I do this day th one, two, three, and four, and all the bubbles mean that the starter is coming to life. It is very active, but you wanna continue this process for the whole week just to make sure that your starter is going to be ready to use and make delicious bread. officially on day five of 
starting our starter and you can see all the bubbles these bubbles are so good that means your starter is working and it's going to be ready to be used soon the top hat popped off and you can see all those bubbles i mean look at that so good so now for the next two days we will discard half and feed every 12 hours instead of 24 hours so you will feed your starter twice a day you can set a timer to remind yourself and you'll do that day five and day six and it's going to be so good and day seven we will be making bread my starter discard i've been using this all week um, to discard from my starter you can throw it away if you like or you can put it in a separate jar and you can use this in so many recipes cookies um, pancakes waffles all those things so what I'm actually gonna do is and you should be using a spoon but right now it is just so much at the top that I'm gonna discard this to my discard I'm gonna discard just a little bit more and then I'm going to do the same ratio. One cup flour, wheat flour I'm using, one cup filtered water, and then we're gonna let it sit for 12 hours. seven and look at this beautiful starter we have discarded and feeded fed for seven days and look at this look at all those air bubbles look at the pop the top popped ready to make some delicious sourdough bread